these two recollections, I think you would agree that there seems to be something rather sinister along North Common and the canal network there. So if you decide to pay this area a visit, please don't go alone. In its day, Pelsall Coal and Iron Company, owned by Boaz Bloomer, was a huge company in Pelsall, employing up to a thousand men and boys. It exported its goods worldwide and made use of both the canal and train network. Workers spent their earnings at the Free Trade Inn and the Tommy Shop next door to it. Following the decline of the industry, Pelsall Coal and Iron Company went into liquidation. Most of it stood until the 1920s when the last chimney stack was demolished and Pelsall Coal and Iron Company stood no more. Today there is nothing to suggest that such a thriving community ever existed at all. Now the land is silent and home to wildlife. The canal now stands still, disturbed only by fishermen and the odd narrowboat. On numerous occasions I have been told by elderly readers what a frightening place they remember this being. One of my readers recalled how this was a place for many a dare. More often than not, youngsters would dare each other to cycle over the old pit mounds. Like other children his age, he too was once dared and bravely took up the challenge. On this occasion he could not be sure why, but he was suddenly and inexplicably terrified and following this never went over there again. In 2003 I was contacted by a lady who had also become terrified for no apparent reason in the same area. She told me that in the summer of that year she had gone for a walk over Friar Bridge with her young son to find out what lay beyond. She was aware that it was now a nature reserve and thought that her son might appreciate what they might find. As they walked the two took in the sights and the sounds until something caught the lady's eye. In the distance, looking towards the middle ground, which was quite a step from the canal towpath, she thought she could see some ruins, and with curiosity getting the better of her, she decided to walk over to what she could see to find out what it was. To get to it, the pair trudged over sodden ground, drawing nearer and nearer to the ruins. All the time the ground was getting worse and more difficult to walk over. Then, after looking down and noticing how dangerously sodden the ground was, which she and her son were walking on, she looked up again to see that the ruins had totally vanished. Then she had a sudden feeling of absolute horror. She felt as if she was walking on quicksand which was starting to pull both her and her son under. Not being familiar with the area, when she looked around herself, she said that she felt as if she was in the middle of nowhere and that she had been lured to walk over there by something sinister. As she gathered herself, she recalled literally dragging her son with her as she hastily made her way back to the safety of the canal towpath. She said that she had never been so petrified in her life and has not returned to the site. If you too have experienced a sinister presence at North Common or along the canal towpath, please get in touch. <laughs>